If we're speaking about the most famous band of all times inside metal, many people they will say, of course, Metallica. I can say that Metallica, together with Iron Maiden, they are the most famous bands of all times. Of course, of course, and today we will speak about Metallica. Together, that we have to say that Metallica is one of the bands if, that uh, started the whole scene of thrust metal. And if we are speaking about uh, their albums and rate to, to rank their albums from worst to best, most of the Metallica fans and also most of the of the metalheads, they will say that uh, the worst album of them is of course sent an anchor. Unfortunately, in this album, this is not exactly what we what we waited from Metallica. And I and I remember that in these years that this album came out, many people they didn't know what to expect, especially after lo load and reload. And in this album, this they, I think that uh, they tried to be even more me metal, even more thrust, but they didn't succeed. They have also good songs here, but the songs are, are if they were even more, even uh, sm even smaller, and uh, with without uh, without these drums that are in the album. The album maybe it will be even better, but it isn't. Afterwards, I put the album Reload. And Re Reload, together with Load, they're coming together. They're supposed to be a, a double album, but of, at, at last uh, they put them as separate albums. For many years, I thought that, the, that the Reload is even better than, uh, than Load, but today, no. Today, we'll say that, uh, okay, here we can uh, find uh, good songs like uh, the, mem the Memory Remains, like The Forgiven 2, but uh, let's say that for me, this album comes in this uh, place. Next, I will put Load. And uh, really, this is not a bad album, but it's not a Metallica album. We have to understand that Metallica, here they try to be even more hard rock, some will say more alternative. In this kind of, of, of style of rock, okay, they are very good, and the album is very good, but it's not exactly the Metallica, the Metallica feeling. Except, of course, from the song The Outlaw Torn, it is very Metallica. But also, here we can find uh, good songs like The House Jack Built, Until It Sleeps, King Nothing, Hero of the Day, Bleeding Me, Wasted My Hate, Mama Said, From Within, that also they are very good. In the next place, comes their last album until now, Hardwired to Self-Destruct. This is the first double album of Metallica. This is a not bad album. No, very good album. But I think that because they continue the same way that started with Death Magnetic, many people, uh, they say that, okay, it's a good album, but it's the, uh, what... Uh, is another death magnetic, let's say, but it's also a very good album with very good songs, as Atlas Rise, Moth into Flame, Hello on Fire, Here Comes Revenge, Murder One, Spit Out the Bone, a very good album. And now, of course, comes Death Magnetic. Death Magnetic. Death Magnetic with also the EP that uh, it comes together with it, uh, Beyond, Mag Beyond Magnetic. But if we're speaking about Death Magnetic, yes, in these years that the, the album came out, I was crazy about this album. Because for me, it, wa it was 
the return of the real Metallica. For me, is the what it has to be after and justice for all. No less and no more. A very good Frazzi album. And we have to say also thank you not only to Metallica and also to Rick Rubin for this album. And now I will put the Black Album or the Metallica Album. Okay? A very good album. In the years that uh, it came out, I I remember that maybe many people of the of the followers of the old followers of Metallica they didn't like the album. Uh, here we have balance from the first time. But in any case, the album is very good for me. It's the first album of Metallica that I listened, and because of this album, many people they started to listen to uh, to metal, not only to Metallica, and to metal in general. And here we have also very good uh, songs. Okay, here they are even more heavy, they are not so thrust, but we have also good songs like Edder Satman, Sad But True, Holy and Undo, The Unforgiven, The First Unforgiven, Wherever I May Roam, Don't Trindle Me, Throw the, the Never, Nothing Else Matters, Of Wolf and Man, The God That Failed, My Friend of Mystery, The Struggle Within, all the, the songs of the album are great. And now, Many people they will say that this is the best album of Metallica. For me, is one of the of the of, of the best, but not the best. And here I will put the album Master of Puppets. And people will say you put it in the fourth place, not even in the third place or in the second place, even not in the first place. And I know here we have also very good songs as Battery, as Master of Puppets. Something that should not be. Welcome Home Sanitarium, Disposal of Heroes, Lepre Messiah, Orion, Damage Inc. But in any case, I don't know. Personally, I think that uh, the albums that came afterwards are even better. Next, for me, comes the album Injustice for All. A great album. One of the greatest albums in whole battle history. So strong, so let's say so heavy, even for Metallica for these years. With songs like Black and Justice for All, Eye of the Beholder, one, the first video clip also, The Sorcerer's Straw, Harvest of Sorrow, The Fright Ends of Sanity, To Live is to Die, Dyer's Eve, every song here is great, great, great. Second place for me, and for many years it was in the first place. Ride the Lightning. Ride the Lightning with also very good songs. Here we have also songs of Dave Mustaine, like also in the Kill Them All, with songs as uh, Fight Fire with Fire. Ride the Lightning, For Whom the Bell Tolls, Fade to Black, Trap the Dry Eyes. Creeping Death speaks also about the, uh, the exodus of Jews from Egypt. The Call of Cthulhu, a very, very good album. Also, we can say that from this album, and especially in Master of Puppets, Metallica, they are the real Metallica, with their real sound and their real personal character. And the last album for me, the most beloved album, the best of the best for Metallica, because I am a thruster and I am a, a follower of thrust and speed metal, here comes Kill Em All. Kill Em All, that is uh, the more thrusty album of Metallica, with songs like Hither Lights, The Four Horsemen, Mort of Breath, Jump in the Fire, Whiplash, Phantom Lord, No Remorse, Sink and Destroy, Metal Militia. For me, is the best album of Metallica and one of the best albums in whole thrust metal, together with uh, Bonded by Blood of Exodus and together with So No Mercy of Slayer. And something else, 
people they will say that this album is the first uh, uh, thrust metal album, Kill Em All. In reality, some months before it, if I'm if if I'm not wrong, Exciter from Canada, uh, they put out their album Heavy Metal, their first album Heavy Metal Maniac. Okay, Exciter is even more a little bit more speed. And for this reason, uh, uh, some people they are saying that Exciter even is, is this is the first thrust uh, album, but in any case, Kill Em All is the most famous album of thrust. But not uh, if we are can, if we can come speak about uh, uh, if we will speak about the bands that Metallica influenced, because Metallica together with Megadeth, they influenced so many groups inside and so many bands not only inside thrust metal and also outside of thrust metal we can speak about ice turf from the united states we can speak also about raids the german band raids in their first albums and the for me this is the uh, the best of them the missing link they're playing like metallica and megadeth we can speak about testament from the united states in, especially in this album, Practice What You Preach, also uh, the, the fans and the followers, uh, they made this, uh, they made a joke about the Testament in the beginning, they will call them Testalica, okay? If we're speaking about uh, a, a British thrust metal band on slot, their first two albums, they were great. And afterwards, they put out a, a very Metallica album in search of sanity. And from German also, uh, the German thrust metal band Exhumer, their first album, Possessed by Fire, was also influenced by Metallica. And of course, Paradox, also from Germany, thrust speed metal band, in their first album, Product of Imagination, people, they thought that they were the Metallica of Germany in these years. And if we're speaking also about uh, the famous metalcore or new wave of American heavy metal band, Trivio, in, in this album, The Crusade, they were so close uh, to the way that Metallica played. So we can find the influence of Metallica and also of Megadeth in many, many bands inside thrust metal and also in the whole metal scene from israel and from jerusalem stay heavy and stay metal